When the track's dry, you can win from anywhere. It depends on the rail, of course, but normally if the rail's in, the, in true over Carnival, you can win from anywhere. Uh, if the rail's out, well, it's a little bit different. You probably need to be speed runners. Look, it's got a great camber um, from the 13, 50 metre start. Barriers don't really matter too much. The shorter you get in distance, obviously they, they're pretty crucial, but uh, you know, like the staying races, uh, the 2020 and uh, the 2200, it doesn't really matter where you're drawing. Uh, as a jockey, you, you're always looking for the best lane, uh, the fast lane, obviously the, if there's a, a, a bite, track bias, you, you're looking for where the soft parts of the track are, and um, yeah, just in general, probably the, the best, best lanes to be in. It's withstood racing over the last three, four years, which has been very uh, p consistent. So um, it's done a terrific job, and, and Jim Roberts and the track curators have done a wonderful job. They got really good starts as well, especially the 1350. The mile's a bit awkward, but look, the 1200, 1350, they're, they're brilliant starts. You know, you can start 20 horses on there, you know, and they still will posse up pretty well. When Dooman's racing at its at its utmost best, um, look, horses can horses can jump and lead and win. They can come from wide gates, they can settle back. Um, I won you know, many races coming from last on the turn, so yes, it can be done, um, even in big fields. Barrier draws are, are crucial. Um, obviously, the short, shorter races, you want to be drawing within sort of five or six, uh, and obviously the longer distances, it's not as crucial, but definitely an advantage to be drawn in the, in the first half. At Doombin, barriers are pretty important. Uh, they're not so not so important uh, from the 1350 metre start, but obviously uh, the 10,000 start, which is 1200, and, and the mile start, uh, they are quite important. In, in, in those two two starts, but uh, 1350 metre start, you, you've got a, easily a you know, 600 metre run into the first turn, so it's not as important. My favourite barrier draw at Doombin would be certainly an inside gate. It certainly makes um, jockeys' jobs easier. Look, they've got to be able to gallop now, especially with a lot of the interstate horses coming. Um, they've generally got to be genuine city horses. Just horses that can win in town, uh, generally, they've got to be able to gallop. wouldn't want to bring a horse um, that's only a maiden or a, or a horse with only limited ability. It'd have to be a very, very good galloper that um, would be capable of winning in the Saturday in the group races. How competitive do you need a horse here? You need a strong horse here at the moment. Um, with all the carnival horses coming up from south. Um, Walla has a stable at the Gold Coast, so the, the fields are really strong. Even on our midweeks, they're, they're strong races, so you need a pretty good horse to win in town at the moment. The competitiveness of the field sizes are very strong. It's, um, it's, it's our premium time of year. There's a lot of southern horses and trainers come up and um, they're very, very competitive. I would say Mainly, if you're having a bet at Doom and you need a good barrier, um, good jockey, good horse. I think punters should consider barriers when they're betting at Doombin. Um, they're very, very important barrier draws. They can uh, win or lose a race. My most memorable win would be uh, a, a listed winner. Uh, recently, only recently, trained by Ben Curry. Machani Hustle, the horse was called. Uh, smart colt, a little two-year-old, and positive uh, future for him would have to be winning the 10,000 on Red Zell. Obviously he's gone on and won the Everest and, and numerous races after that, but uh, you know, to be able to ride him and you know, the, to get a sit on him and win a feature race like that uh, was uh, pretty special. Would have been winning the Glen Logan Park Stakes on timeless wins, beating the stable mate Amber, ridden by Mick Dittman. I would think Kate Kidnapper winning at Doombin. He won a uh, Chief to Beers race over there, a listed race, but I, I would say every time he won a race over there, it was pretty special for me. Probably the win on Crack Me Up um, in the recognition stakes. Um, he, he's a really nice horse, I really like him, I've got a soft spot for him as well. I think my most memorable win at Dooman would have been the Doombin 10,000, which was my first Group 1 winner back in 1992 on a horse called Barossa Boy. Uh, it was a great day and it was a great thrill to win my first Group 1 there.